Hello and welcome to the Limowiz training channel. In this video, I will show you how to process multi-trip invoices. Click on the bill icon on the top toolbar. You are presented with a multi-trip invoice and aging window. As you can see, you have several options on the left hand side of the window. And on the right hand side, you have the starting Limo ID, ending Limo ID, starting account number, ending account number, opening date and closing date and whether you want to calculate aging only from the opening date to the closing date. You have also the option to set the print date by default it will be set to today's date and additionally you have the option of printing trips based on a reference number that you've added in the trips. The first option that we see that's highlighted is aging only. This option verifies trips and it should be done first. This allows you to make sure that the trips are settled and completed. Also it's an option that allows you to go through all the accounts that you have on file to see which accounts are due or not and also brings up a list of unsettled trips. For example Let's go ahead and click on the aging only option and just leave all other options clicked. As you can see right away the program gives you nothing. Now let's go ahead and click on a, the closing date and change the date to today's date and see if we could come up with any trips. So click on aging again. As you can see Lumoes prompts you if you want to view any unsettled trips that have been processed based on the criteria that you provided on the screen. Limos will present a window and the trips will be listed. Of course if you want to edit any of these trips and finalize them, which it should be done, click on the trip or double click it or click on the edit button. Next I will show you how to preview one account multi-trip invoice or statement. Click the preview option, select the report style. As you can see, we have several report styles and select other options you would like. The starting limo ID and ending limo ID, this is then by default because if you have only one limo company license on LumoWiz, it will be dimmed. Starting account number, we'll type test two. Opening date, Leave it blank if you want to consider everything that's outstanding. Closing date is normally the last day of last month. If you specify an opening date and you want to set the aging only to specify dates only, you click on this checkbox. And then click the preview button. Limos will generate an invoice for you. As you can see, you have the company name, title, bill to whom, statement or invoice summary, you have the trip details, invoice, date and time, etc. Trip charges on the right hand side. And then the routing details are listed for you right there. And then the aging summary, current, 30 days, 90 days, etc. And then you have a statement or a sentence that you, or a message that you would show to your customers. Let's close the window and generate another type of invoice. Click preview. Lemurs in this case generates a very short invoice. As you can see, it's one line, the routing details. Let's say we don't want to print the routing details. Let's close the window. Click on the checkbox not to print routing details. Generate the invoice one more time. As you can see, uh, the routing details are gone now. This is good if you want to print so many trips in one shot and you don't want to waste lots of paper. If you want to print only paid trips, click on this option, paid trips only. As you can see, Lumos generates an invoice or statement. This is paid invoice statement.
That's it. Thank you for watching.